So how do you discover those unmet needs? Um, because today we have ways of testing it maybe cheaply with even Facebook ads. Um, what are pain points and needs that need to be met? Um, so what were some of the methods you used to, un to unearth those needs if, if, if you see that as being important? Yeah, well, sure. So, uh, you know, if people are trying to get a job done and they have all these needs associated with getting the job done, the thought was, well, let's capture all of them. Right. right? So how do you capture all the customer's needs? And then we can figure out which are unmet, right? Yep. But let's just capture them first. So the methods we use are um, just talking with customers. What we do is I ask them to take us on like a slow motion journey of getting their job done. So for example, you know, we work with surgeons who are performing a surgical procedure and uh, we just go from beginning to end. Tell us what you're trying to accomplish from the time you make the incision until the time you, you wrap everything up. And they go step by step on, you know, how they're trying to access, gain access into the vasculature. And then they're trying to find the pathway to their destination. And then they navigate through there with their tool set. And then they perform whatever procedure they need to and, and so on. But they could take you through step by step exactly what they're trying to do. Not what, not how they're doing it. So we're not talking about products, but how are they measuring success along each step of the way, right? Because mm -hmm. to get a job done better, you can get it done faster, more predictably, higher output throughput, just like a manufacturing process, right? Mm -hmm. How do you improve a manufacturing process? Faster, more predictable, higher output throughput. This is true of any process, right? So what we're doing is we're talking to customers and listening to the process that they're going through and extracting how they're measuring success along each step of the way. A quick example, you know, um, everyone cooks meals, right? So what are some of the metrics you use to judge how well you cooked a meal? You may say, well, I want to minimize the likelihood of overcooking the meal. That's one metric. I want to minimize the likelihood of undercooking the meal. You know, I want to minimize the time it takes to cook it evenly across the entire uh, you know, dish. I want to minimize the time it takes to clean it up uh, after the meal. You, know, you could just start going through the process and saying, how am I measuring success without really getting at what products you're using, right? So we're trying, to, we're trying to define everything in problem space before we get over to solution space, right? It's as if we're trying to define the problem at an extraordinarily granular level so that we can then figure out, well, at this granular level, where are people struggling? And once we know that, then we put the solutions in place. So, uh, and to further answer your question, Jeff, you know, uh, I, I like what we call immersion sessions where we'll sit with one or two or three customers that are really experts in getting the job done and spend three or four hours with them mm -hmm. and work, work with them to define exactly how they think about the job they're trying to get done. We create what we call a job map that we introduced in a 2008 HBR article, and then we work to capture all these measurable outcomes. So it's a it's a tedious process, mm -hmm. but the beauty is once you've done it, you don't have to do it again for years because these needs are stable over time. Mm -hmm.